Hey everybody, it's Will with K9 TC again. Uh, just for the record, uh, I just want to go on the record and let everybody know that um, big ass office copiers put out a lot of black smoke. Um, for those of you who are environmentally friendly and uh, are against polluting the environment, well, this thing probably took a couple of uh, inches off the ozone last night, so, and it was a really hot, intense fire. Ripped her into three different parts, and <laughs> she got going. All right, this video is going to be on, uh, you know, buddy, another buddy burner video. Um, this is a little, a little more in detail. Um, I'm actually able to upload more than 15 minutes at a time, so I don't have to really keep watching. Um, here we go. What I have here is, uh, well, this one's green. It kind of looks like a big, big green burger, I guess. But, uh, it's, uh, wax that has, uh, regular cooking grease in it. And I'm talking about the kind of cooking grease that doesn't even solidify. Alright? So, that's, that's the kind of what we're talking about. And what it does is it, it likes to leave a residue on your hands. Let's, let's put this up. So what I've done is I've uh, melted. Man, all this metal out here is hot. It's like a really hot day out. melted the wax and uh oh, this thing's hot. But I'm gonna go ahead and put out the fire here. Cause this is getting ridiculous. A hot fire on a hot day. Alright. We're going to do a few things. You're going to need a few tools. And let me go ahead and... and show you here. Looking... You need a good pair of scissors. These are uh, tradesman quality cutting tools. They're uh, like 20 bucks. They're well worth it. You're gonna need some uh, strips of cardboard and a trusty multi tool. What to do with it already? I lost it already. And a can. What did I do with that can? I went and had it. Alright. Yeah. Please, this one. Please. Stop with you, I don't know. Alright. And you're gonna need a can for a reference. I've cut these a little bit for, let's see if you can see this real good. Let me shorten this tripod here. Can't zoom in, so work with me here, people. Work with me here. Alright, I like to do these whenever I can. Um, whenever I get, like, you know, seven or eight of these I usually do a batch so what you're gonna need to do is you take your can and you gotta fill your can off all right usually you've got a good inch this is the one I've used for a comparison 
Oh, didn't roll off over here. This one's actually flat though. Um, and uh, you gotta figure eh, about a good inch or so. And there's usually gonna be some line around the can that you can actually follow. You can drill a hole, but I'm used to doing it this way, so. What's funny about these scissors is while they're great for cutting cans and metal and tin, they really suck at cutting like string. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna cut the top half off. And then you're gonna wanna cut just a, yeah, just a little bit above that top end. Because what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold it over. And remember this. Yeah, I cut too short. Too shorter than I need to be cutting here. I'm trying to do it quick. You're gonna take your multi-tool, and basically you're just gonna go at every inch and a half or so, or every half inch, and you're gonna. Fold it over along that line. Now if I left it just a, you know, a little bit longer, it'd be a little, a little bit easier. And then we're gonna push it in. You can use a pair of pliers to do this. I mean, I, I recommend if you're not used to doing this, and you don't have strong thumbs, stuff like that, just go ahead and use a pair of pliers. Then what we're going to do, it's usually every can has a seam. Well, I thought every can had a seam. This one, this one doesn't have a visible seam. Oh well. What we're going to do, is we're going to flatten down the thick spots here. So, we're going to go all the way around this can. And we're just going to make her flat. Just flat. If we make a mark on the outside of the can, who really cares, right? Now remember, these are things that you can do with what you have laying around that you don't don't necessarily spend much money on. You can do the same thing with regular grease and your buddy burner. You don't have to use just the uh, just like crown wax or something. These are old old candles that I've uh, ended up putting together. Now what you're going to want to do is with these, these strips uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven here. Six of these strips are great. You're going to get one in, you're going to take your multi-tool and you're going to pinch the top part of it, just, just the top half and you're going to roll it. Now, you're gonna to wanna to try to keep it as tight as you, you know, somewhat as tight as you can as you're rolling it. And what this does, is this rolls it up, your cardboard up, really easy. And you can. See, I'm rushing on this. Just a little bit smaller. Which I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pull these out. I'm gonna go ahead and do that again. Because I'm trying to I'm trying to hurry. I'm trying to be quick. So I'm gonna apologize about that. So I'm gonna grab them. Get a good grip on it. 
and I'm gonna just really tighten them up. This one piece is giving me a bugger being a butt. Then, counterclockwise, and this one I'm gonna go ahead and force on in there. You painted my ass. Alright, we've got it in. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take. Get a oops. better shot of this for you guys. Very carefully. I have here a medium size, or not medium, but a small, small pizza pan, right? And uh, obviously, this one's been left in there a few times. All right, what you're gonna do is we're gonna set them up. It's just as simple. Is that one? We've got a dozen, but we're only gonna be able to do a few at a time. Now with this, it does make it greasy, so uh, you know, uh, word of caution is gonna be. Yeah, let's wait to get this. Word of caution is, uh, you know, you might want to have a paper towel or something on hand. Ah! Should have known better. We're going to take our... Here, I've just got a middle, middle spoon. And we're going to fill them up. Now these will give you a nice, good, hot, steady burn. Uh, you can use other anything that's a, you know a cardboard or a flammable material. You know if you don't have corrugated cardboard, but in general, corrugated cardboard is going to work the best. Um, now I've picked these. You know, around the inch size for a big reason for me. I can use these as a, you know, as a cook stove. Alright, K9, move! Move! This is hot. I want you guys around this. And yeah, you probably want to make sure your dogs are put up as well. Especially if you're going to be doing this on the ground. I mean, I've got something under these. You know, I'm not really trying to be all prissy and careful. Uh, normally, I I would be, but in this occasion, yeah, it's not it's not going to make much difference to me because I can just take it and pour a leftover back in, and then just keep going from there. Now, what uh, I've done is get this shut here. I've taken just a regular can, and what I've done is, is, uh, is you know, it's just the grease, there's still some grease with some chunks and stuff in it, is I've taken the grease, 
and I poured it into the hot wax of the stove or uh, over the into the wax and I've mixed it up so then what you end up with is you end up with a a very unique product that's very handy to have Okay, let's see here. Now keep in mind, there is going to be a degree of, of, uh, of product loss. Uh, if you wanted to put a uh, you know a small cotton wick or something in the middle that sticks up, I mean that, that's a, a choice. But with these, you're literally waterproofing the cardboard, and these will withstand so much more than you than you really think about. And here maybe in, a, in, a, in another video, I'll actually I'll, I'll light one of these on here, just to give you an idea. And what, what I'm trying to show you guys here is, is the stuff that you can do with what you have laying around a house. Now, I've just added some whack, which is, I kind of like that tint of green. Um... It's dark green. But You may have to go back and you may have to go over the wax again. Here I shouldn't have to heat it up because I've got the metal on the outside of the container pretty hot. It's just about going over and leveling off everything. If you, you know, cut your strips, I used a paper cutter um, and I probably just zipped through. I didn't measure. I just did a quick by eye thing to get it done real quick. And I got a big old bag full of, uh, you know, full of cardboard. Um, but this is something you can do, you know, with your kids sitting around. And, you know, and in the meanwhile, you know, also have a little bit of fun. mind that that you're gonna get dirty you're gonna get greasy and uh, oops, I'm done. And you're gonna have a lot of fun I'm sorry for this being so long, folks, but this is something that I, I like for people to be able to see, you know, and everybody, the old sit, you know, the fool from beginning to end, because I know a lot of you preppers out there, and, and you know, a lot of you survivalists, so a lot of people already know, you know, how to make buddy burners, and, uh, but, you know, you, you may not, you know, know about the, the wax, you know, you know, the, uh, Cooking, 
grease part. So if you don't have kicking grease, all right, just or uh, if you don't have wax or you don't want to spend some wax candles or go buy some paraffin wax, uh, just go ahead and and uh, let's go ahead and use cooking grease. You know, just just something while well, you're cooking and you're frying and. Grease gathers up. And, you know, it's only you know a little bit at a time. It, you don't. It's not something you have to worry about rushing overnight to do. And you know, something on a camping project. You can do this and uh, you know by the fire and when you're camping. Um, and this is another you know. Uh, SHTF situation that uh, in in a uh, you know a major SHTF situation uh, as well. This is something that you can do to get something for candles and cooking and uh, it's just I mean there's. A, if you don't have the grease, uh, I mean, you can, when you're, you kill a possum or a deer, and, I mean, you can make, you can make the oils off of that, and you can just, and you can use that to soak up the cardboard, and, and what you're doing is, is the cardboard's going to burn, but you're just using the cardboard as a wick, so, which is kind of funny in a way. Really, if you don't have a pizza pan, which I don't cook a lot of pizzas, though I really didn't feel like I needed to use this pan, and I have a few of these, so. You can use a cooking pan. I like to have something with a lip on it, and then that way, you know, I've got... got an advantage because what I mean by that is if I just were to pour it on a cardboard ah, there's a little spider I'm just wasting all this you know this wax so you know for a, a lot of you who don't have the money and I know with a bad economy um, a lot of people just don't have the money uh, to go out and buy a bunch of stuff. And if you have money, you know, this is a real good way, you know, to, uh, yeah, cooling down. It's a real good way to supplement your money. This pan is like really hot. You know, and if you get dirt, dust, and you know, stuff like that, you a little bit in there, here and there, it's not going to hurt your wax. So, you know, the thing is, uh, you know, you're going to probably want to hold your... Hold your multi-tool and, and uh, over a good... You know, a lighter or campfire or something, and you get the wax off of it. But, I mean, you can also use this as a, you know, as a good lubricant. So, if you need a lubricant for something, an emergency, you, you've got a good lubricant. So, hope you enjoyed the video, everybody. It, uh... Thank you for watching my videos. I really appreciate it. For those of you worldwide that um, check it out, I really appreciate it. Please come back. Keep checking for more. If you can, leave comments. Um, like, dislike, you know, just please rate it. 
uh, tell me what you think, and uh, you know, I'll keep getting more videos up and going. I apologize, I've had a lot going on, and uh, with some different products, and uh, some different things, and we've really been, you know, really been doing a lot around here, so, um, springtime, you know, I, I should, I'm sorry about that, next time, you know, if I get another copy or next time I decide to, you know, torch something even at night, um, you know, I wasn't thinking, but I did have a dead battery, and I, I did have to charge my battery, so, um, or I, I would have got a picture of the, the flaming, uh, well, top ear, so, and to be honest with you, uh, just said add more toner, but I just got so tired of that big old thing hanging around, um, I can just get something smaller from, you know, a Walmart or or something for like 70 bucks or something like that that it do just as good as job and more so and it then cost a fortune to have somebody come and and uh, you know fix it every time something happens and, and lately it's been it's been jamming paper jamming a lot so yeah yeah but you rest in peace office copier you will not be missed. But here we go. You've got uh, you know some pretty basic putty burners, and uh, you know that is just some simple stuff that you can find laying around. Um, you know you get your canned food, uh, whether you have cardboard or you know you can go. Uh, generally, you know, just go to you know behind the businesses. Go behind your Walmart. Um, you know, go behind your Kmart's. Go behind your Best Buys. Uh, you know, any business really. Um, you can ask, and they'll save you. You know, they'll, they'll save you a box. Uh, go to Craigslist. You can get them off of Craigslist. Um, you know, uh, cooking well too. You know, heck, if you you know ask uh, you know uh, you know a small rug, just go to your local restaurant. You know, find somebody. They'll, they'll give you some grease. Oh, they'll, they'll be glad to give you some grease. So, you know, all this I showed you here, you can make for virtually nothing. Um, you know, the stuff that you can get for free that people already have. Um, I know a lot of people just throw these cans away or you know maybe recycle you know possible but I think this in the long run for the price that you get for recycling the metal for the cans themselves is a lot better you're getting a lot more money uh, back in a way it's it's not money but it's it's like money so you're, you're getting something better back in return you're getting fire you're getting water you're getting cooking you're getting sterilization for products um, I don't know I really think it's a better deal so you know go out and do it have fun and uh, let me know what you see Get yourself and have fun, everybody. Sniff you later.